Hi everybody, today I have some new features, some bug fixes and a new plugin for you. So let's first see the new features. And this is about the multibond processor series 2. And here now we have an on and off switch for the mid side and output stage for each bond. And I was asked to deliver an output per bond. So now we have this in the output mapping. So as you can see, here's the main output of the plugin, and then we have bond 1 and bond 2 and bond 3 and so on. Then there was the request for sidechain per bond, but I must confess that this is very tricky and difficult. But I keep that in my mind, maybe in future I make that. Then there were some bug fixes, so um, these attack knobs here in the envelope shapers weren't working, but now they are working. And there were issues with flipping the bonds if you hold Alt, you want to flip all together and that didn't work, that's solved now. And now I tested everything and I hope I didn't break anything. And there are more improvements to come for all the plugins, but I think that update will come next time. So now let's get to the new plugin. And this is the Tukan Studios Tukanoplex Tape Echo Series 2. So yes, that's a tape echo. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Well, that's one of the first things that come to my mind when talking about tape echo is this rockabilly slap echo. So let's bypass the plugin and hear without the echo. And maybe for this song, this could be correct or it needs to be slower so it gets a little swing to it. Let's say a 170 milliseconds. So as you just saw, you can adjust the delay time with that knob here. And now the fun already begins, because during playback, if you change that knob, it will change the tape speed. Let's hear that. So that's just like the behavior of the original units. And then we have uh, the sustain, so how many echoes there should be. Then there is a drive setting for the echoes. So imagine you're having an old tape machine for producing these echoes. Uh, there could be a lot of overdrive and distortion kinds in it, so you can dial that in there. Then of course we have the echo mix, so this is only direct signal, this is only the echoes and this is the mix of the two. And here we have an equalizer for the echo feedback chain. So that's not simply an equalizer for the whole plugin, but for the feedback chain. This means if I turn down the treble, it will lose treble per echo. So it will get dull and dull and dull and dull. Let's hear a bit of that. Could sound like this, or if I turn that up, it will add treble and treble and treble. Maybe a bit more. Ah. And now what we heard is this positive feedback. Some of you might know that the tape echo machines were especially famous for this positive feedback loop. So you're feeding back more than you're dampening in the playback. This way you get delays that will never end and that will overdrive the circuit of the tape machine itself. And in this plugin, this can be done with the equalizers because you're giving positive feedback as you turn the, these knobs to the right. Or if you simply turn that sustain knob beyond the 100% point. And with that you can have some fun when you then use the delay time adjustment to um, make funny sounds there. Let's hear that. Fun.
funny, isn't it? Then we have two switches. The one is the tape switch. So you can select which kind of tape is in the plugin. So this is a brand new tape loop for the tape delay. This is an okay tape loop and this is a used tape loop. Imagine you had long recording sessions and didn't have the time to change the tape inside the machine or if you're just lazy. The other one is the um, direct switch. So usually you hear the direct signal clean without being affected of the tape or this um, plug-in. But if you want to simulate that the original sound already came from the tape, you can switch that to tape. And by the way, the underlaying tape algorithms are the same as in the Toucan Tape Machine Series 2. And nearly unnecessary to say, you can bypass this thing. It features all the Series 2 features, so processing um, options and grouping options and scaling options like this um, and quick plug-in linking and everything. And here where you can read out the delay time, you can click and use tempo synced delay times. So let's try this with another example. So as you can see, I've done some things with this plugin with automation lanes because this plugin really wants to be automated for interesting sounds. And for that rhythm guitar, which we can see here, I set up two of these tape echoes and the left one is just doing a rhythmic echo while the right one does triplets of eighth notes and is only used as an effect once. But you'll see it here. So let's take a look at the mixer. And here we can see that I have uh, two units of the plugin on the rhythm guitar. And for the low melody and the high melody, I have this set up as well. So we can see what's doing when the melody comes in. <laughs> me that sounds really 70s psychedelic style. So I think that is a fun plugin, which brings me to end the video for today. Have fun with the plugins and bye bye.